Hello, dear Blender users. Uh, here, I wanted to make a little demo of my quick render add-on. Uh, this allows to quickly iterate in uh, shots, like for example, if you want to um, output a set of reference of your blend file, or even render some view quickly. Uh, usually, you have to press F12, then uh, Alt-S, or um, save by the menu, and choose a location, and choose a file name, then save. Here, you can do all of this in one click. So for example here, I didn't even mention a save uh, location or even a file name and just click OpenGL view and create a quick render folder and save my view. Here uh, I take another shot and it's a name view02, another one, etc. So you can specify obviously a file name. So it, it's going to be the same and add a date as a suffix to the name and a frame also is possible to add. Here is the two last. So just for clarity, I'm going to delete this one. And uh, I wanted to show you that you can also render uh, the active cam uh, directly from this menu and you can also render directly the view as a real render. Uh, it creates a cam actually and it stores it in the quick cam collection here. It's uh, hide it by default but you can change it in the option of the add-ons. Uh, talking about the option, here are the options in the add-on preference. You can specify a placeholder uh, that will be used uh, if this field is empty. Uh, you can change the padding, numbering of the output file. Uh, the mask generated camera uh, masks this collection whenever a new camera is created. So for example, if I delete this and let's create this view. Here, you see this the camera appears, render view, render view. Here are all my output render and since I didn't specify a placeholder name nor a file name it just use the insert date but if you don't have anything specified no date no file no name it will be called view so normalized file name is um, using uh, space as uh, underscore as a space in the name and the date format here can be customized uh, as you wish with some example here and that's about it. I hope uh, this will be as useful for you as it is for me. And if you want to support me, there is a link in the description below, as well as a link to explain how to install add-on. See you in the next video.